Hey everyone, it's Lauren, and I'm going to show you how to turn this box into this book rack. The first thing you're going to do is find the side with the nicest uh, front, and then you're going to mark two inches the whole way across, and then just draw a straight line. What you're going to be doing is cutting um, this part off. As you can see, then this is going to be your front. Um, where this ledge is going to be here. Before you do any cutting, your next step after drawing that line is going to be drawing a straight line from this point to this corner right here. So you can see this is what it's going to be. Okay, so as you can see, I have my line drawn from the top down to this bottom across the front and then also up the other side so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut along those lines and then I am also going to cut this back flap off just right along um, the fold here so here is what we have so far okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to take this piece that we cut off and we're going to actually cut from here down and also on the other side down because we're going to use this um, piece to create these different um, levels here. Um, so this one is going to be um, the width across and then this is going to be 4 inches. This one's going to be 6. This one will be 8. And then that one is actually going to be ten and a half, and then of course that one's going to be your back of your box. So my next step is to take um, this piece. I'm going to do the ten and a half inch high one first. So this is your correct width. So you're going to measure up ten and a half inches and cut it, and then this piece will actually be used then um, for this piece back here. Okay. So I was able to cut my piece that is 10 and a half inches um, using the front of the box that we cut off. So that will go in there. And then I was also able to use the flaps to cut the piece that is four inches high. And then also the piece that is six inches high. I used the flaps, so that's why they're a little loose, but we will um, hot glue those in so they will um, not be falling around and then I wasn't able to I didn't have enough cardboard so I had to find another uh, piece of cardboard from um, something else around the house so this one is eight inches high so that one will go in there so that's how that part of it is going to look and then what I also did was I cut three pieces of cardboard that are the same width and two and a half inches um, that way. So these pieces are going to go in here. Um, this one is actually going to be two and a quarter inches and then these three in between each of these will be two and a half inches wide. So again, three of these are two and a half inches and one is only two and a quarter. So I will show you what we're going to do next to connect those to go down in here and that's where your books will sit. Alright, the next thing I am doing is I am taking the um, pieces out. I took the top piece um, and covered it with just masking tape. Um, did that for all of the pieces that are going to stand up in there and then what I'm doing for the front edge is um, I just put the masking tape flush across here so that I wouldn't have um, any hanging down so that's flush there and then I kind of just cut into the corners and I'm going to just wrap that down and around um, the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to be painting this box so um, if I would just paint over this edge, um, it wouldn't look very nice. So I'm going to go the whole way around and just um, put masking tape down 
and just push that the whole way down. That way we have a nice um, flat surface there that we'll be painting. Okay, as you can see here, I went around and taped each side and then also the top of each of these. The next thing I'm gonna do is take all of these out and on the back side of them, I'm going to go ahead and measure down two inches from the top and just make a mark um, on both sides on each of these. So two inches on each of these pieces on the back side. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to start from the back and go forward. We're going to take the tallest piece that was ten and a half inches high and we're going to take it out and you should have marked it um, at two inches down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to take my little piece that was two and a quarter inches um, this way and I'm going to hot glue it right onto there where the two inch mark is. So essentially what you're going to be doing then is once that's glued on, you're going to take this and flip it and then put it in here um, and then you'll be hot gluing this edge to the back and um, that'll make your first level there. Okay, so this was the piece that goes here, um, and as you can see, I just glued two inches down. I glued that piece that was two and a quarter inches. So all I'm gonna do now is put it in here. And what you wanna do is you want to make it so this corner here, um, is flush with the side of the box on both sides. So just try to push it in there best you can. And then what you're going to do next, I'll show you this. Um, so that's what that will look like. And you're just going to want to go ahead and glue across the back so that that attaches to your base. So I went ahead and did the remaining three, um, attaching the piece that was two and a half inches wide um, to each of those and uh, attached those all in. And then what I did is I also went around with some hot glue. Um, wherever it didn't feel sturdy, I just um, put some hot glue in there. Um, so everything is very sturdy. Um, and we are ready to paint it. So before I painted, I went back over and also added masking tape in um, the corners here and also up around the edges so that you wouldn't see the hot glue. Um, so here is the finished product. <laughs> 